doesn't this just look so nostalgic? Hey peeps, this is Ice, and today I am here in the new alpha style plot on the Ore Redstone server. That's pretty cool. Basically it means that you're only allowed to build out of dirt and cobblestone, and everything you do has to be done with only torches and redstone dust. Now if you don't know what the Ore Redstone server is, it is, well, a redstone server in which kind of the main focus is mathematical and computer logic. So. A lot of these things are like adders and stuff. I personally, though, have my own thing to show you right here. If we go and take a look, this is a 3-bit binary multiplier. And yes, as just completely random as it looks, it does indeed multiply numbers in binary. Now, I will kind of explain to you the binary input system. Maybe you won't learn binary in the video, but you'll understand the binary inputs to this multiplier. So this lever here, this, these three levers here make up one input. This lever means one, this lever means two, and this lever means four. So if there was another lever, then of course it would mean eight, because you just multiply by two to get the next bit size. Now, over here we have the other set of inputs, which is very similar. This lever here means one, this one means two, and this one means four. And over here, we also even have the outputs. Now, this is 6-bit, so this output here, we'll just get some signs. I will explain it for you. This output here means 1. This output here means 2. This one means 4. This one means 8. 8 times 2 is 16. And 16 times 2, if you haven't guessed, is indeed 32. So that's kind of how binary works, if you weren't familiar with it. Of course, I'm sure lots of our members will be seeing this, so you will probably know about it. But yeah, let's just do a quick demonstration of this thing actually doing math. So over here, let's do 6 times 5. That should give us 30. Now to do 6, of course, we'd input 2 and 4, because 2 plus 4 is 6. And as you can see, that goes into the machine and does all kinds of crazy stuff. Now over here, we're doing 6 times 5, so 5 is, of course, equal to 4 plus 1. So we input 1 and input 4. Now if we come over here, we see some outputs on. Four outputs to be exact. Let's see if they're right. First of all, we have 2 on, we have 4 on, we have 8 on, and we have 16 on. If you add those up, 16 plus 8 is 24, 24 plus 4 is 28, and 28 plus 2 is indeed 30, which means that this thing has successfully multiplied 6 by 4. Now that's pretty much the whole device. This is pretty much an example of what it can do, but, well, did I say it multiplied 6 by 4? I'm sorry, it multiplied 6 times 5. But let's just do one more example for the heck of it. Let's do 3 times... Let's do 3 times, I don't know, 5 again. So, yeah, we'll do 3 times 3. So, we'll turn on 1 and 2 here for 3, and we'll turn on 1 and 2 here for 3. Now this should give us 9. If we go and take a look at the outputs, we see a 1 on, and an 8 on. And of course, if this is basic kindergarten math, 1 plus 8 is indeed 9. So this thing can multiply any number in binary you put in. It's as simple as that. Now of course, as it's only 3-bit, the largest problem you could possibly do is 7 times 7. So that's just a minor problem with it. However, multipliers like this could be made bigger. And of course, this thing is fairly compact and fast, considering it doesn't use any repeaters or pistons or any of that fancy stuff. I'm pretty proud of it. I hope you are I hope you like it yourself. And I'm I'm what I'm not proud of is of course is that it uses standard very standard adders, but I don't think that's too much of a problem. So yeah, I I myself want to know how you like this kind of mathematical stuff, because I do have a large or server creation plant. I'm already working on it right now. It's not the computer you saw that kind of turned out as a dud. But, um, yeah, I have a big project planned. I've started working on it. And if you leave a like and tell me that you do indeed like this kind of mathematical redstone, then please, well, not please, but of course you will see that build hopefully before summer's over. So yeah, um, tomorrow we'll be back to Uncharted Territory 3 and no more stupid binary stuff.
And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. And of course, as always, bye now.